Wishbone. Wishbone Entertainment. Let everybody know, man. Welcome to Adult School, man. You're tuned in, man. Get your rulers yeah, and your pencils ready. You heard? That's what's going on. You hear me? Yeah, you know what it says. This is the boy Dub 20, man. If you don't know that, kill yourself. Hmm. Man, and I'm gonna help you. This that boy Bo Strangles, man. Strangle our vote, man. Strangle a lie, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sprite mm -hmm. Tyson, and all that shit, man. You know? You know, I'm all that. Westbound in too. We're gonna get this shit moving. Uh, so shit, the first topic, bro, we're going to touch on today is uh, that coronavirus, obviously. You feel me? That's the first thing. So what y'all think, man? How, how y'all feeling about that? You think it's man-made? You know, what's your feelings on that shit? I think I know it's man-made. They already went to that point and said that they made the shit. You feel me? They did make it. Just like most of these infectious diseases that we've never heard from all of a sudden that came out of nowhere and became <laughs> plagues that they don't have a cure for it. You know what I mean? Right. What happened is right. niggas was trying to tell. Oh, that's not the cure. For sure, it's not for us though. Mm. Right. If anything, they worked on it and probably made it more many. You know, as a as a, a form of a financial control. You know what I'm saying? Population control and everything. Because in reality, all of these small businesses they're going under right now. What are they going to need right. to do to stay afloat? They're going to have to ask for help. Who's going to be there to help them? The government. The government's gonna hit them with these high ass interest rates where these niggas gonna barely be surviving and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that's what they're doing. It won't they're be the first time, though. Yeah, like they're fixing the economy time, for them. Though. I mean, well, would you, wouldn't you do that? Wouldn't we do that if we was the government? Shit, why not? I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, that I shit is it. that's, it's a natural instinct in like, and men, when it comes to like power, motherfuckers know that's what people get shit confused. Niggas be so happy about having money, but the money don't do shit because there's a little white nigga that's like five foot four. And if he doesn't like what the fuck you're doing, he can say, I'm gonna pass this legislation and this bill and it's gonna stop everything, nigga. You gonna listen I mean, well, to you, somebody. You just understood that how small you is right now. They just told you to stay in the fucking house. Man, what? that's it. Pass. They just shut down the whole country. You, you ain't gotta say so out here. You feel none. me? Like none, and, and and I just that's what it did to me. Like it showed me how really free we not. You feel me? And how small we is in the big picture. Like, cause ain't nobody can say shit. You don't even know what's happening for real. I so all you know is this might be the warm up. This might be the warm up right. for something else. Like they they just they getting us ready for the real one. Oh, Wait, motherfuckers be always pushing. Motherfuckers getting shit. You feel hey, me? I ain't got no motherfucking it. arguments with relatives and shit about voting and whatnot, right? Because they really, honestly, truly believe that shit does matter. Then I had to fuck around and show them what history shows. Nigga, you could go to as recent as the Florida elections, nigga. If they don't like the fucking result, nigga, they gonna wipe shit out and all of a sudden, oh, there's a recount. I, I feel like voting, though. I feel like that voting on a, like, local level, like, you know what I mean? I feel like that works. You feel me? But when we talking about putting motherfuckers who run the country and shit and all that type of shit, then they know what they already got. They already got, you know, they already got that already planned out. But like far as locally, you know what I mean, get out there and vote. Change the community, man. Change a little shit around you. If you can, you feel me? Because this is a battle that you can't win. You'll be arguing this all day. Like, I'm not about to argue with you because you want to vote. If you want to vote, mm -hmm. go ahead. If I want to vote, I'm going to vote. Sure. You feel me? Like, go ahead. And, and that's the thing, like, we act like we can't just agree to disagree. Like, you feel me? It, it, Bro. It's like, if my way ain't right, then, uh, nigga, you wrong. If you you feel what I'm saying? If you ain't going my way or whatever. Like, that's yeah, that's, I mean? like, that's 2020 right there, brother. You can't agree to disagree no more. Either if you, yeah. if you stand on this, 
and somebody stands on that, you can't say, okay, well, you know what? I respect your side. Your side. I got my I side. Respect your decision. Yeah, you, still yeah. Live in co- you know what I mean? But now it's like you, you, you voted for who? Oh, fuck you! I, I voted for this person. Like, ooh, you're a piece of shit because you like, well, what, you know what? Like, the other day you could vote right. for this person, that person. It voting right. don't matter. Voting yeah, don't matter. Like, you know, it don't, it, we already we, we just established voting don't matter. You know what I mean? So right. at the end right. of the day, it's like hey. ain't even that and serious. Bro, people take this shit too serious. But thing is, the people that the people that, the people that don't vote for the, that don't vote in the government be these same people that be voting on players and who the best and shit. So if voting don't it's matter, true. it don't matter the whole way. The whole you know and another thing, like, do your fucking research, man, on your politicians, man. Know who you're voting facts. for. Know what they stand facts. for. Know what, what's going on. Niggas be going right. and voting for shit because their grandparents told them to go vote. Check this mark right. when you go, baby. Like, nah, man. Mm-hmm. That's why we're fucked up now. Niggas just sitting here relying sense. just on faith when even in, in fucking Islam, nigga, you have to have movement along with that faith. You can't sit still and pray for it to happen. You yeah, got to have a happen. fucking mind. You got to have yeah, the heart to get up. You got to have the feet to get up and do that shit, man. Mm-hmm. Regardless. Everybody, but everybody ain't, everybody ain't able. You see what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't going to get it, because if everybody got it, if everybody was rich, then what would we have? What would it be yeah. like? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like, if everybody was rich, what would this be like? I, you already mm-hmm. see how, how it's like with these niggas in the hood that's fake rich, nigga, how motherfuckers act. If I can see that's a nigga crazy. in the hood and I'm in the hood, you ain't rich. You feel me? Like, like, like we like, ain't rich together. Niggas got like, you feel me? Hey, like, niggas got I'm talking about real windows and well, San Leandro and shit, bro. <laughs> like, I'm talking about wealthy, this type of shit that lasts for generations. You feel me? That type of wealthy, wealthy. You know what I mean? Like real, real dope. Anybody, anybody can get quick rich and feel like they rich. Shit, if if you get a hundred thousand dollars and never had no money, you rich. You feel me? For real, for so, sure. Right, yeah, that shit that goes here. in a month and you sick. <laughs> we know that, you know what I mean? But everybody don't know that. Hey, Dub. So you still you you dropping, a, you dropping a coronavirus <laughs> album, right? The thing. Yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing, a, I'm dropping a Corona Fonia mixtape. It's free. I, uh, all they got to do is just uh, subscribe to the Dub Twenty YouTube and DM me their email and show me they subscribed and they gonna have it tonight. Everybody uh-huh. that already did it gonna have a free mixtape tonight. That's the only way to get it, unless you hit one of them and try to get it from them. You feel me? Yeah, we gonna, we gonna hey, know that shit crazy. And hey, on everything though, a lot of niggas be sleeping on my bro, but that nigga Dub Twenty. That nigga one of the rawest niggas to talk that shit, man. For real, Period. for real. Period. If that shit, if that's sleeping, sleeping, man. Let them lie. Get them niggas yeah. date, Quill. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Let them sleep, though, because this the shit here is for thing. real. This shit here is for the real, the real, real. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't expect, like, people who ain't, and I ain't talking about just no street, no hood type of individual. I'm talking about just, like, the real, real. You know what I mean? The people that's them. You saying me? So if you ain't feeling this, ah, hey, cause I, cause it's a lot of street niggas that ain't real too. <laughs> yeah, that ain't got <laughs> shit to do with being real. The streets, you know what I mean? Left, real is you. Real is your yeah. character, nigga. Mm. The streets fake as fuck, though. That's hey, the thing. Now I'ma tell you just like I'm this, saying? nigga. My daddy's seventy six, and he one of the realest niggas I know, and he ain't nowhere near playing the streets right now. Man, At man. all. Nope. You know, kids. The streets is just an illusion. That's it. Stay out. An illusion that's going to cost you a lengthy sentence that ain't an illusion. Hell yeah. That ain't ain't an illusion. Right. That's real. That's real time. Uh, uh, What y'all been doing for quarantine? What y'all been having? How y'all been saying busy? Ah, man. Rapping. When all else fell, I got rapping, praying. That's the best thing about this shit is you got that time to be creative. Yeah. You know? Man, I just been, I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been quarantined with this active little four and a half year old, my little daughter, and shit. And we've been doing school and all kind of shit, though. You know, homeschooling, everything. You know what I'm saying? Keeping her lit, trying to think of ways to keep her busy. You know what I'm saying? Because she, it gotta be. If it's tough on us, imagine how it feels on the kids, though. You know what I'm saying? I got three of them. Being with a gang of them. Running yeah, around for hours, nigga, burning energy, you feel me? Exercising, mm-hmm. all that shit, you know what I mean? I mean, you, it, it, it's probably a good thing that people home with their kids anyway because that's where they should be at home, learning from you anyway. You feel it's me? That's going to the real game. You see what I'm saying? 
Like that's gonna if you able to do that. You see what I'm saying? And like, you gonna give them the real straight, yeah, you know, unadulterated. You feel me? Game. You know what I'm saying? And it's what they need, both sides. Because you need that in this world, but they don't tell you that. You know what I mean? They don't tell you you need both. You need you need street smarts and book smarts out here, man. Period. Equally. That's our job. I got yeah. three. I got three in the house right now. Yeah, so you already know I'm. I'm nothing. I'm this nothing anime. but game. You know what I mean? Hell yeah! And I can say, what, bro, you feel me? He been doing this shit long before I did. But I was watching that nigga do that shit. You know, I, right. I'm lucky that I had a dope ass dad, had a dope ass real. I don't really deal with too many like people that aren't men. You feel me? Right. If they're of the male gender, niggas that don't take care of their children, them type of niggas offend me, like, you feel me? So I don't really, but at the same time, I understand that people, like, everybody wasn't able to get the same lessons and blessings and tutelage, though. And it's not never right. too late, though, you feel me? Like, it be niggas own, they self setting themselves back, though, you feel me? You can wake up right. the next day, literally, I don't care what nobody say, and say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to be, at least I'm going to start being a fighter today, you know what I'm saying? That type yeah. of shit. That, this shit ain't never too late, though. Unless you just one of them bitch-ass niggas. See, the problem, we got a lot of men with children mentalities and shit, though. Yeah. yeah. That's what's fucking shit up, though. It's like a kid trying to raise a kid. Like, that nigga still got needs. And when he still get excited when a bitch buy him a pair of mics or something. You feel me? Yeah, nigga, my mom was a kid. When she had me, she raised me just fucking fine. It was rough for her, I'm sure. But she came out with it. Because yeah, that ain't an excuse, you know what I'm saying? Once you have a child, sure. kid or not, it's on. You feel me? Oh, but, I, feel but, me? but everybody, everybody's situation probably just different, you know what I'm saying? But but for the niggas who can be in their children's life and don't, you's a piece of shit. Man, for sure. You're a piece of shit. And you don't ain't got no around nobody but the kids. Slap yeah. the shit out of you when he sees you and shit, man. These little probably fucking gonna kids slap. nowadays are wild, boy. He gonna this slap you wild. with success. Your son gonna slap you with success or disappointment. You feel me? With either one, you know what I mean? And then you, all and the way, both, you, you a piece of shit. You feel they me? They both gonna, gonna leave a print on you. Either way you slice it, you a piece of shit. For sure, it don't matter what way you cut the low. That <laughs> motherfucker, you feel me? It's the same first, man. That's what we forgetting, you feel But me? we ain't gonna just hold it, though, just to the men, too, because I see a lot of these piece of shit Nothing as mothers that ain't mothers and shit. They like friends, nigga, to hand the baby off to their motherfucking parents, too. This shit is That's wild. Niggas gotta really get back to raising kids. Ain't nothing gonna change till we do our job. Cause they ain't That's just magically crazy. gonna get it out of nowhere and be like, fuck it. Some of them That's will, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they shouldn't have to. That's crazy. That's you know crazy. Man? Man. Like that it's just the, wild. it seemed like the, it seemed like shit didn't flip like a little bit. You know what I mean? Like shit that was like mostly men was doing or, you know what I'm saying, or the, the male species or whatever the fuck you call it. You feel me? But they was doing a lot of the things, the traits and shit they was doing, women do now. And a lot of the traits that women and shit do, men do. You feel me? Like, I don't know how this shit spiraled and went backwards or flipped on his head, but that's what I be seeing going uh, on. You feel me? And a lot and of, most a of, lot of dudes, like, like, men... The, these little niggas is hella emotional though. You feel me? And the bitch is tough as nails. That should be crazy. Everybody emotional. Like it seems like everybody's sensitive and you can't say shit. And you know what I mean? Like, it was, man, my mama used to cuss at me like a motherfucker. Call me all type of shit. Shit just made me tough. You feel me? Like, everybody just too fucking sensitive and fucking weak and it's this. It's this internet. You feel me? It didn't gave everybody, it gave the normal fucking person that would never said nothing a voice you see what i'm saying like the biggest before, platform ever yeah the biggest platform ever then gave every nobody a voice you know what i'm saying so now just anybody can get just come to you and just say anything they want to more before you know what i'm saying you'd be you know what you'd be doing you can't just talk to anybody in type of way so like this this internet you know what i mean it's just it's a gift and a curse Hey, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch gears, bro. As far as music right now, outside of you know, obviously you know who we fucking with in the inner circle and shit. Who y'all think is the hottest up and coming right now? The hottest up and coming? Yeah, who's who's coming, bro? On oh, what I'm, level though? We talking about? Bro, me? listen. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's so many rappers. And they, it seems like they all on. You feel me? Like I don't know who up and coming for real. Like. 
who give me a few names to even pick from. Like, who, what we talking about, regional or just like period? I mean, I'm talking about, you know, from, it could be from anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I, they don't got to be on some Jay-Z. They about to blow up like that. But I'm basically, nah, I'm yeah. saying, like, you know, somebody, a local rapper, like somebody who's going who gonna to come up and be dope. That's, that's dope right now. You feel me? Shit, Man, it, seems like, it seems like Larry June having a meteoric rise. That boy on. Yeah. Everywhere I go is Larry June, Larry June, and it shit slap. So, For you real. feel me? We talking about the home team. Shit. Hey, I, a lot of my I, I like the little nigga from the city, Zay Bang, though. That nigga be going crazy, yo. For real, for real. That's real. You got old. Too. My little nephew put me on to him. You feel me? Shout yeah. out to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That boy, that boy decent. And it's home and you got me. It's a few little niggas, though, like. You know? hey, man, it's so many to name right now. All right, so, hey. Drain, so, hey, on, on, a whole, on a whole nother level, who who's bogus right now? Who y'all think is out there bogus in the game right now? And, and any bogus. level. It could be any level. It could be any <laughs> level. Whatever. It's just, it's, who you think is bogus I, out there right now? Every time I wake up and look at TV or any time I hear something, I see bogus motherfuckers. You feel me? I can't, I can't even pinpoint nobody. I ate so much bogus shit. You had to just bring something up. I need a top like, three. Ah. Then. Shoot me a top three. You know what I mean? Just give me shoot, throw three names out there. Go ahead, Bo. I'm trying to think right now. Like I think just. I'm talking mm. about what? What is bogus like? Hey, is it, hey, is hey, it like hey, whack hey, bars, or is it just like they whole they everything. whole persona? It whole everything. Whole thing, everything. That shit bogus. It, it depends on how they do it because there's some niggas who. Like say for you, nigga, you a you a bar fest type rapper. It's pure bars. Niggas like you, that nigga plus, you feel me? Niggas right. like that, that's it's like bars. You from the street knowledge, niggas that be it's you know what I mean? Then you got the right. pain rappers who they ain't really the lyricists, but niggas be saying that shit that you can feel. You be like, ugh, I felt that's that. that Tupac though. shit. You know what I'm I saying? And, and then they got a whole new little genre though, like. Cause a lot of these little niggas be lightweight harmonizing when they rap. It's like I can't. They ain't really singing. I can't but they, feel it. They ain't rapping. But that's them. Hell yeah! I, I don't be really feeling the the uh, harmonizing too Some much. You know what I mean? But crazy though. For yeah. sure. Some of, but the problem is too many of them trying to do it though. So hella niggas sound like you can't dope. feel it. Yeah, it's, it, it, it like it, it make it hard. Yeah. Like you know the, the standouts is is dope. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers who do it in the standouts, you know they dope. That's why they standouts. But like just everybody trying to sound like each other, that ain't cool. Mm -mm. You feel me? Like you just get on there, like oh he do it like this, I'm gonna do it like that. That ain't cool, man. And, and then to me. You bogus as fuck as if you not saying shit. Like, if you just on there, like, bro, rap, bro. You feel like, me? You know what I mean? Like, if you rapping, rap, bro. Like, you feel you me? Know, no matter the, the if coldest it's shit, the coldest yeah. shit about the music game, bro, is that the, the, the people that don't say shit, that be saying the blah, 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 them the songs that be blowing up and, and, and you be hearing all day and you fucking getting all in your head no matter what. It, like, because when it really boiled down to. Is it they fault or is it the fan fault, though? And, and mean, really, it know, is, it's, just, it's like some testy ass little bullshit. You know what I mean? Though, like, they all call it hell of these motherfucking uh, prescription pills, though. So when nigga high and they sitting there lay back, you don't really want to hear a nigga that's it's gonna throw you off. So they listen to these niggas that ain't really saying shit, but they harmonize. You feel me? So this shit is too hot. They ain't gonna be too hot. And because I see a lot of niggas that's too high to speak, though. I mean, literally see a nigga go back to being a baby like good boo, boo. Like what? The I fuck you just when said? I, when I should drink that syrup like that, though, that should have you in that motherfucker mumble mouth, though. You feel me? Like a, a nigga be mumble mouth, but a nigga can understand you when these niggas be off these zannies and these fucking these Roxies and shit. Niggas be because they're trying to the syrup, time. Do that and do that though. Nigga, that's right. too high. That's why niggas out here dying like that. Niggas' bodies can't take that shit, man. They're not meant to be taking all different types of them heavy ass drugs at once. You know what I'm sure. saying? I understand. You gonna get high, get high, man. But like an old nigga told me, man, don't turn an affair into a marriage, though. Hey, you know what I'm saying? To each his own. Shit, if, if somebody ain't getting high, the hustlers ain't making no money. So to each his own, man. Like, if you wanna get high and go through this shit, Go ahead. You feel and you me? know what else? That's another thing that's different right now. Mm. And my era niggas was looking up to the hustlers, niggas that was, you feel me? 
really, really right. out here, nigga, in the mud with it. Nowadays, niggas is looking up to nigga, pure drug addicts and shit, though. Nigga, the coolest nigga on dope, nigga. That's the nigga. They got the money. Like. If you got, the, ain't nobody looking up to no broke drug addict. That's for sure. It's the drug addicts who look like they, who got money, bro. Yeah, like, you got right. They look you know like they I mean? got they're not, money. They're not looking at uh, uh, whoever on the corner. You feel me? They're like, nah, man. Like, hell no. Nah. You feel me? That ain't cool. But when you see a motherfucker who got hella money and this nigga come and he, and however he did, he got lucky and got hella bands and this nigga come and he's showing off all this money and he like, I'm lit. You think that's the motherfucking yeah. blueprint when you're young, because you're naive, yeah. you feel me? Hey, you hey, you know like, oh, what's hella crazy, though? Another thing that's hella crazy is when did motherfuckers just become idol worshippers to the bread, though? Like, Ooh. A nigga like right now, a nigga could be a real, real rat, a real, real pussy, and niggas is just like, bro, the nigga, he real, bro. But he paid, though. He paid, the, bro. Bro, the nigga took me, bro, he took me to the mall the other day, bro, and everything, bro. The nigga let me hold the bags in the bag. <laughs> like, nigga's sick. Some, somewhere, somewhere, somehow, some type of snitch, rat, nerd, punk. Then switch the game on us right before we could even see. You feel me? And, and that shit was and like, that, and that it made you quick. think all. And they they got you thinking. All you got it. It's only about the money, about the chip. You feel me? Because a lot of us have been broke forever. You feel me? So for sure. it, it, it's kind of always been about the money, but we knew not to like kind of like jeopardize your integrity and your. You know what I'm saying? Your class for no dollar. You, know? you can't do anything for money. You know what I'm saying? All and, money and ain't for real. And to keep it real, like, when pussy-ass niggas was having bread, nigga, nigga, and our air niggas was coming to get that, though. Hmm. Oh, they wasn't, wasn't even going. You wasn't even going to get you to that. Shit. Right? Yeah, you can't even shit. You had to just, you, that's why when so many people went on bogus licks, because you had to just be like, oh, man, I think this nigga got it. <laughs> and he ain't having you. So nowadays, it's, it's like easy. You couldn't have had this back in and in, 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 in like, the the early nineties, late nineties, eighties, seventies. You can have this in the type early of shit back. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, nah, I was gonna get there. You feel me? Early two thousand up to the up to the two thousand and eight. Like them type of individuals is, is was maniacs. Like what? You know what if they sniffed the dollar on you, they was taking it. So somehow a bunch of a bunch of like weaker individuals. Somehow I was like, you know what, well, we gotta we, we gotta get the all these tough little real niggas out the way. So we going, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people started off with money. A lot of people had a lot, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't from the gutter. Back in the day being gutter and ghetto wasn't cool. You mm. feel me? You couldn't have food stamps back in the day. You didn't want to be seen with food stamps back in the day. That shit wasn't cool. But now all that shit cool. You feel me? Hey. All the hood shit. And, and so, you take it to a teenager, though. Motherfuckers started coming, boy. Niggas was having big, big corner store snacks and all kind of shit. Nigga, for the little stones, though. We but shared a lot. Little, though, we were, niggas was little, though. That shit was embarrassing, though, nigga. For we sure. had to share a lot when we was young. And that's the meaning why. That's how we so stuck in that same mentality. Like, you feel me? I, gotta, I can't see my bruh doing that. Because, nigga, we was really broke. Not saying people ain't really broke now, because they is, but I'm saying, like, we had to, our mentality was to share, because guess what? Your boy was probably staying at your house, or you were staying at your boy house, you feel me, or whatever it was, and y'all always shared. I can't never remember where I ate something, and one of my partners was there, and I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Or two Nigga. or three or three until we right. just we met equal. Like now it's like they didn't individualize it. You feel me? Even to be a nigga, nah, you be with a nigga who got shit on that nigga. Niggas a shit Man, on that nigga. Right now, in front bro. of you. And right you in front of you. Like, and and, like, and nigga. that nigga will be like, oh, tripping us, bro. Because he got the money. You feel like you need him. And that's how this shit be. It'd be like a bunch of need relationships. Like I can't. And you got to be politically correct because you got to get a bag from somebody. You feel? And I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to do to feed your family. But. You know, some of us just don't, you know what I mean? We don't fold. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody got. I don't fuck with niggas because they got money. I don't fuck with bitches because they got money. You feel me? I don't, I fuck with motherfuckers because I see something in them and I like them. That's it. You feel me? You ain't got to have a dollar to fuck with me. You feel me if you you. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You just can't, you know what I mean? You just, you just got to be loyal. And you can't be no sucker. That's it. Mm. 
Don't don't you know, don't be no coward. You feel me? Don't be no snake. That's it. Be you. And you feel me? And but you know, you do got to get money. Don't know. I ain't like I'm trying to peach be broke. You feel me? You do got to maintain your hustle. Get you a job. You feel me? Whatever you got to do, you get you some money though. But yeah, you know I'm saying money ain't everything. That ain't that. That don't. Because money don't spell well at all. Chasing that you bag in me? the wrong instance, nigga. When you got shit to lose, or have your ass sitting in there, nigga, watching you, nigga, watch your child grow, nigga, in a motherfucking box, boy. Why you sitting also, up in that? chasing that bag become more of a fuck. You become a slave to that, man. You know what I'm saying, like. Just how many years that when you jump in this shit or when you even become, you rush to become an adult and then you realize like, man, this shit a nonstop hustle. You feel me? Now you see why you didn't see your dad at night or your mom at night and shit. Because this life don't hey, stop. Nigga. This shit come fast and hard. So I understand everybody like, man, you know, get up, do something for yourself and do that and do that. But Somewhere along the line, the shit got blurred, and everybody just thought, like, oh, if you got money, like, even if you got a fucking settlement out of Red Terry, motherfucker's still like, oh, he the man. Like, man, this motherfucker was born rich, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Can't knock him because he was born rich. <laughs> That's it. I don't feel on that. Like, I definitely feel like you get your money, but. All money ain't good money, you feel me? Shout out to the niggas who getting it. Shout out to everybody that's getting it, you feel me? And shout out to those that ain't getting it. Cause it's a balance, you gotta be like that. the better they sell too, you hear me? Yeah. gotta be like that. Just be you, man. Be the best Right now though, right now we finding out like how much a lot of shit don't really even matter though. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of that shit don't even matter right now, cause like, you know what I'm saying? What you doing on the weekend? With your money? Sitting in your fucking house, you feel me? Watching a movie from the movies at home. You know what I'm saying? So none of that, that shit don't really be mattering, man. We gotta stop looking at what people got. We, people, and I'm including myself, cause I, I done been like this before. We too materialistic, like. For real. We too worried about what people got, and you feel me? Only again, that's how we always get snaked or find out somebody unloyal because you was worried about the wrong shit. You wasn't worried about the qualities and the person for real. You was worried about money and, you know what I'm saying? You you was using people. People use people. That's it. Once it's over, Man, it's over. I, that's the coldest. I remember a line from Cube. It was that shit like, nigga, 87, 88, when that nigga said, that's okay because he's so rich. And you ain't nothing but the dope man's bitch. Like, you Period. feel me? <laughs> That's I'm it, talking though. about, bro, when I listen to some of that throwbacks, I'd be like, damn, bro, niggas was futuristic for real, though. Like, you uh, feel me? was talking that shit back in the day, though. That's what this shit be missing, though. You feel me? It, 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 we didn't came to just, like, it's a circus right now. It's a clown show. Like, for real. You feel me? Like. And we That's all why in it. The Bailey <laughs> they like shit. The whole you know what I mean? you got hell of these yeah. niggas all over. Hell yeah, man! This shit is just like you know any any clown can just wake up and be like, you know what? I'm rapping. You feel me? You man, you only been rapping for three months. What? You feel yeah. me? Like, you know, but whatever. But that's yeah. one thing I say about it. It's a few niggas I could come to mind, but I. Ain't even... Anyways, like I was saying, it's a few niggas, bro, that wasn't really. Really had dope lyrics, but them niggas hustled, bro. I tip my hat off to they shit, though. You feel me? Right. And they gradually got better, and them niggas pushed, pushed, that's and the pushed, thing. And pushed to that shit. Just you feel me? And that shit is crazy, though, man. That's the thing about this rap, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. When you feeling yourself and you feeling your money, that shit make your raps better, man. Oh, for you got sure. more to talk about. You feel me? Like you got a lot. I mean, you know, a lot of us. We just talk about our past experience. Uh, rarely do you get a rapper that's talking about what they're going through now. You feel me? If you talk talking street shit, for sure. Uh, most of these niggas ain't in the streets and never been. You feel me? Like so. You, you know what I mean? Ain't you just get niggas talking about old oh, shit though? But when you when you filling yourself and your dough up, every time I got paid for a verse, it was a better verse than when I did a free one. I'm going to just that long story short. You feel what I'm saying? Long story short. <laughs> Hell yeah, long story short. Every time I got paid for a verse, it was better than when I did a free one. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Get your money, man. Stay true, stay loyal, man. 
be dope. What happened to coming dope, man? Be dope with this shit. We need some dope shit back around, man. We need some shit that we used to be in, we used to be anticipating now. But like, man, what's we call it finna drop next week? I don't. We don't do that no more. I don't know. Maybe I got older or something, but I don't even think the kids do that. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, like oh, oh yeah, what's the name album came out? You find out three days later now. Like, oh shit, I think Wookie will drop. You feel me? Oh, 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 for real? Let me check it out. Then you don't like it. We didn't never have albums where it's like only like you know album. A good album now is like four dope songs. No, man, you got yeah. four dope songs. Like, man, that shit cool. That shit dope. You feel That's me? That's the thing is, hella compilations nowadays. What's the last album? Out, what's the last album y'all really felt like that was just an album? You feel me? Like that was dope all the way through. Ooh, that's a good one. What's yeah. the last album I felt that was dope? Like all the way, all the way through. through. You can play that shit from the beginning to end on a road trip. You feel me? Like just the last one. Damn. I'm not no super old shit. Like the most recent shit. I'm trying to think about some most recent shit that I played all the way through. Most motherfuckers really only got like. Two jumps on the album, though. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking exactly. hard, bro. Exactly. I be having to make my own playlist and shit, though, or something. You know? Yeah, I, 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 man, man, I can't even think about what album that I've slapped the most because you don't even, we don't even really slap albums no more, I don't think. No, nah, it's like, you, because it'll be like, you, you, you just go through it and you listen to the ones you like and then they're going to playlist. You exactly. feel me? Like, we don't really, I can't think of, uh, an album in recent that I'm like, ooh, he just had every song, every one slap. You feel me? I, I can't think. I can't. I wish it. Let's not even do recent then. Just overall, like, what's what's the album you could slap all the way through, like <coughs> from, from, from whenever. Even right now to this day. Right now, yep. I ain't gonna nah. I could slap that. Uh, I could slap that one. Not, and I'm not even a big Nas fan. I never been, but I could slap that one album all the way through. That uh. That one where he eats it with the one with that one, yeah, bro, that's a dope album, bro. You feel me? It's a couple yeah. Kanye albums in there I can slap all the way through. I can slap. It's so many Bay Area albums I can slap all the way through. It's no, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You sure. feel me? Like it ain't it's spice. Sure. Everybody that made an album I can slap through all the way through from the back. Man, you know what I mean? I can't think of one artist like from that era. You know what I'm saying? From that that I that I ain't never slapped one of the albums all the way through. Period. You feel me? That's from everybody. All the way. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie to Bay, for the, the rest of the country to be sleeping on us, bro. We make good music, and I done been in a lot of places, bro. We make some good music. You feel me? I don't know why they act like we only like it, but we make some dope shit. We That's North Italian, of shit too, though. period. You we feel influence me? a lot of other shit. You hear our influence in Drake. A lot of Drake shit. You, you hear his swag, his whole bounce, be some, be some Bay shit, some Mac Dre, all that shit. You can hear it. Hell yeah! I'll every name one of these artists that dance like that that ain't got Mike Dre in them or the Bay. You feel me? So like they all of them do that. Like you know what I'm saying, but they don't like to give us our little credit. One thing I said about Drake, at least he did a video out here and did a song and shit. They yeah, sure love him. At least he do. Yeah, you know I mean, at least he did what he, the minimum that he can do, but he did it. You feel me? Yeah. You know what he, I'm saying? Saying, he, he, he be shouting yeah. Mac Dre out though. You feel me? Keeping his man. That's all. Out. That's all he can ask for, a motherfucker. That I don't know. <clears> shit. You know? But it's not like he knew Dre or fuck with him, you know. That's just that's cool. He's, he's giving his. I mean, he did steal the whole song from Rapping Forte. I mean, just straight plagiarized the whole song. Like, uh, you know, did he, he ever pay him for that though? He, I think he, he got like three hundred stacks for that shit. Oh, well, that nigga, shit, steal it. Shit. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, nigga, hey you're welcome. Yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah! Thank you, sir. We hey, I got a whole, I got a whole bunch of all shit. You can run through all of them. Just let me Hell know. Yeah. Right. You know I mean? nah, I'm not, I'm not mad at all when the, when he said, "Here, y'all stole your shit, but here." Hey, yeah, bro, hey, thank you, bro. Exactly. That's not stealing. I just paid you later. You and and you got to think. We talking about rapping forte right now about that shit. Well, we wouldn't be talking about rapping forte if Drake and like bring his ass back out a little bit. You feel me? Like, right. a, I mean, love rapping Forte, but you know he's one of the older cats. You feel me? He's older than all. Right, 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 right. He's an old legend, though. He's a legend. I mean, yeah, hell yeah. But you, you know what I'm talking about? Like, without I, Drake, I feel you totally. Without we Drake, be talking about rapping Forte right now. No, and he wouldn't be getting paid. Yeah. So rapping Forte should be man. He should be Drake's. Um, bro, he should be all over Drake, man. I, I got a whole bunch For of sure. catalog. I got a whole catalog of shit. The you only way he should. Way he should the only way. Cat. The only way it could be like. Is it? Is it? Did I have to? Did I have to sue you to get paid, or did you just pay me? You feel me? Like, 
then that'll kind of, you know what I mean? That, but what hey, I did, 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 did he did. ask the nigga to tear him up, or did he just go straight into the suit too? I think he yeah, asked, did I, I think they got at him about that shit. You know what I mean? You know, you know, Forte, he got he probably got some deep connections. You feel me? He an OG. But my like thing that. is, how could you not know that was rapping Forte though? Bro, it, that's it's, too. it's like that's, bar like, for that's bar. my thing. Like, yeah, like, how could you know that's not him? Yeah. If you wrote it, or if you did, whoever wrote it, or if he wrote it, he should have knew that was rapping full text. Y'all think Drake you feel writes? What I'm you think Drake writes his shit? I definitely think he is. He's saying that shit too good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everybody. I ain't gonna lie. Like niggas gonna act like they sit in the lab and it be a bunch of dope rappers around and niggas ain't throwing bars out and throwing lines out that other niggas use and they can stop it. Um, you know what I mean? but, but, but at the same time, though, the nigga, the old school Drake nigga, that nigga used to actually bar way harder at mixtape before he signed with Cash Money. Shit, though. Yeah, right. I mean, that I nigga, ain't nigga gonna was lie. Now it's more like he got more just like swag to his shit. He more of a swag Drake than he was just that nigga used to talk some shit though. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Back when he got the grassy, back on the grassy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, if, if if he if he if he not writing that and he acting that part out, he's a damn good actor. Hey, he told me like. He shit. probably got some niggas around him influencing him, though. You know what I'm saying? Him just being around shit. That's that's why it ping off shit like that, though. Like, when you could be like, oh, somebody wrote it for him. Like, nah, if he want to, he can fly the nigga that's talking that shit, nigga, to actually come fuck with him. And they well, gonna do thing, that. My, my thing about writing raps and shit, and like, unless you really doing that process and you understand, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't easy. They keep coming with hella multiple dope ass raps. Man. All the time without saying the same shit. And, and not even just like, that, bro. It's not easy. You know, yeah. Females love that shit. Yeah. Dudes be rocking that shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, Drake, ain't nobody came like on top of either. Drake. You feel me? Like, Drake, right. I hate to say it because I'm not a Drake fan, but you feel me? Like, he he top of the game, man. He top of the first Talent is talent, talent, though. Man, that Whatever is going on, they're making dope right. shit. Hell yeah. Like undeniable you talent, bro. When you got undeniable talent, you're going to win as long as you keep grinding. It's, it's for sure. Yeah. Or somebody will yeah. cut you short because they're hating on you because they wish they was you. you know what I, mean? I don't like, know why they don't get that. Got, got, got killed because of that shit. For that talent. Man, that, yeah, he just make a good, Drake make a, just a good song. Whoever, that camp over there, they make a good, like, they can get it, they get something started. Like, they make a good tune. That's it. Like, you feel me? At the end of the day, they make a good tune. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm all about, I, I listen to everything, bro. I listen to all type. Like, if it's a good tune, bro, I'm fucking with it. You feel me? Like, I don't be, I'm not, I'm not trying to really get in all into knowing the artists and shit. That shit don't matter to me for real. Like, you feel me? Like, once you do that, then you be like, oh man, this is that or that and that. I'm just yeah. listening for the music. It's you know what music. I mean? I'm just listening to the music, man. Like, hey. all this shit that made you have to know a nigga like, you feel me? Like, you got to look at a person live every day. You feel right? This is what my favorite rapper doing. Now. I don't give a fuck what he doing. I just want to make a good song and shut the fuck up. And I don't quit putting your opinion on everything in the world. But it's the world we live in. So here we go. The rapper saying everything. <laughs> it shit, it shit dope though, man. The world, life and shit, bro. It ain't even no answers for this shit. That's why we always get it wrong. That clock is ticking right now. Yeah, on everything, life, bro. It ain't no. It ain't no fucking, I don't know if it's the right way to do this shit. <laughs> you feel me? You just got to do it the best way you can. So, hey, check this out. After, after you know, everybody's dead, what you think happens, bro? I was talking to my girl about this. She was tripping out about this shit today. What you think happens after you die, bro? What's what's next? See, you waiting for judgment day. Yeah? Yeah. After you die, that's, you're waiting for judgment day. That's all I want to think about. <clears throat> Other than that, I, it's just going, you know what I'm saying? It's too complex for me, like. So I told her, I said, it's, it's above my pay grade. You know what I mean? So exactly. I'm not, yeah. and, I'm not even gonna sit here and worry about. It. I'm just gonna do do as much good as I can while I'm here. Take care of my kids, leave a good legacy, and let the chips fall where they may. You feel me? You know. And as long as you yeah, keep bro. doing that, they're gonna fall, nigga. Definitely where they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? But you know? one thing I definitely think is something else after this. You feel me? So. Regardless of what it is, just something else after this. Ain't it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck, bro. Like I said, I don't even try to think think about it because at the end of the day, that shit's above my pay grade. If I start thinking too hard, 
I'm gonna start thinking of the, the, the dope shit and then the many shit, like what the worst part. Like I'm cool. I'm just gonna let it. Like I said, I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna ride my train, do the best I can, and when when it's over, let the chips fall where they may. And you know, I ain't worried about it, bro. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, no matter what, no matter what we think or what we say, it's happening anyway. So yeah. Shit, hell yeah, <laughs> like it ain't no. A lot of people, you know. Def, like you said, I, it is above my pay grade, too. I don't know, but, like, I ain't scared of it. Like, everybody said, my best friends and everybody off, they did already. Man. So, you feel me? I, I mean, I love all y'all, but, like, guaranteed. you feel me? Like, what am I? Like, I don't, I'm, like, I'm, I'm late to the party. Shit. <laughs> like, no, but I'm, like, this shit don't, it don't matter, bro. Like. But would you, would you even want to live when forever? When we die, we die. Would you Hell want? No. Would you want to live forever though? Shit, no. Nah. So it's Shit, like I don't. You know what I mean? Just let me, let me do my thing while I can, and then it's good. You know, after that, you know, I'll be all right. Yeah. Do we really know? Do we? Do you we know. even really know how long we live though? Do we? Is time even real? Yeah. That's when you start getting deep like that. We start asking them questions. Bro, and everything's watching, gonna be a question. I was watching this show on Hulu called Devs, where they like. T your life is a, is a path you can't see and you can't deviate from no matter what it's fate fate is there you can't no matter what we no matter what was gonna happen we finna do this show like, 20 years ago we don't gonna stop that this is part of our path we can't see it but it's there and we can't deviate from that shit we can't you know what i mean so it's it's kind that of, could, really that could be true like, 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 i mean if you think about it hell yeah, like but i, I, I that's really the same feel like saying it was written you i really know what feel mean? Like, like, there's, there's, there's different like you know like outcomes, like if you do different shit at different times, bro, you, shit could have went a different way. I feel like, you know, whatever you call the multiverse shit, that could be real too. You know what I mean? Like it could be a whole different dimension where you took a different, like, like a decision early in life and you a whole different motherfucker because of that shit. At a time, just everything was different. Or, or, it, or was it already written that you might have could have took that decision, but you took the exact same one that you was already written to take? You feel me? Like it's just going to be a nonstop question. Exactly. Bro, 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 yeah. And that's all the distraction. We all we worried about all the shit that we can't you can't change. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we do that constantly too. though. That's a that's a constant thing that we gotta do. Damn, if I'd have just mm -hmm. fucked around and made this left turn instead of going straight, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. just how shit is, man. It's like like bro, shit is meant. You know what I, I mean? Just that on, I, just that that <laughs> I just did that on the freeway, like fuck. If I could have just made up for kidding me for cussing, I don't really like to cuss, but I'll be cussing sometimes. But look, I, I'm on the freeway, bro. I'm so I knew I was supposed to go that way. I went the wrong. I went straight anyway, bro, and end up it ended up costing me like forty minutes. Man, that's the worst. And you I know got, it too. As soon as you pass it, like uh, that's that hindsight is twenty twenty shit. Yeah. I got some of the worst decision making skills ever though, bro. Like when hey, it comes to shit like that, I'll go all the way a, to the bar. That's an album right there. Hindsight, <laughs> right. 20, hindsight is twenty twenty. You feel me? Facts, hell yeah. Man, that's an album right there. We're gonna put that together. Stay tuned. Hindsight is when you well, now that I'm thinking about that, hindsight is twenty twenty for real though. Shit. Man. Hell yeah. You right. That's, that's a whole album. We you you get off into some whole shit like that and do an album, bro. Like You'd be surprised with people that would pick up on that kind of shit, bro. It wouldn't even just be a regular crowd. It would be some whole other kind of, you know, I know people that, bro, there's some conspiracy theorist type motherfuckers, bro. They would love if you just got into some whole other ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if, what if this happened? You feel me? What if this, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be kind I'm of, of them, 2020, you know, what if I, what if, what if instead of doing this, like when I was younger, I did that. Or what if, you know what I'm saying? What if this fool that I, that I was fucking with, that got killed or something. Instead of, you know what I'm saying, did that, he did this. Where he be at right now? What we be doing? That type uh, of whole album what if, it, what if it's Mandela effect, though? What if it's, what if shit we thought was there wasn't never there? You feel me? What if it, that shit is, all this shit tricky, man. That's yeah. what I'm saying, like. Hey, that's a question that's been probably passed through centuries, though. You feel me? Like, niggas like, man, what if? Those what if? two words. What, what if? if? So yeah, yeah man. but look, you got to worry about all that life, death, this, <coughs> all that, <coughs> alternate reality, all that, and at the end of the day, and the end of the month, you still got to pay your fucking rent and mortgage. So none of that shit means shit. You feel that's what I'm real. saying? Like rent at the end of the day, real. you got to pay the bills. That's, that's real. Is real. You feel me? Like that's it. 
And that don't That's stop. it. They don't give a fuck if an alien ship crash in this motherfucker. Pay your bill, though, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah, they don't give Lord a shit, bro. Pay, pay your bills, bro. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do all that, do all that, but pay your bills. Right, you just ain't buying nowhere to live. Just make sure you uh, You, you <laughs> see what I'm saying? So that's why we all worried about money. That's, how, that's why we all worried about that. Yeah, because you know as far as, like you were saying, money ain't real. You feel me? Right. Double back to that. Money ain't real. You know, shit, it's, it's something good to have, but at the end of the day, it ain't it ain't real. You feel me? Like It this, don't define you. Love in is this real. Society, we, love, is, mm -hmm. I, love is real. If you find, mm -hmm. if we know what love is, you I'm feel me? Like, like family. You know, like, family, love. like family, family shit. Love. It ain't even got to be real. like blood related. Like, you know, you know something. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's real. But other than that, bro, right. other shit, bro, it's, you know, it's all materialistic shit ain't real, bro. Because if you got if you got that love, if you got people that love you around you, or you you know whatever you surrounded by that shit, that shit's better than money. I mean, you don't want to be homeless. Sure. Shit. But at the end of the day, you could be living you could be living with the the bare minimum and still be happy if you got the you know what I'm saying. If you got the right For sure. Because love. when that <laughs> money don't know that love is not going nowhere. You know I mean? exactly. Some people, but. Uh, see, and some people look at it the other way, though. Some people have been fucked over with love, whether it's family or or whatever it is, and so they like shit. But when that when that love gone, that money's still there. Yeah. So you feel what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. just uh, it's about you and what time, what type of vibration you on at that time? Because we all change up. You know what what I mean? position you're in, though, you know. That's we all bipolar, if you ask me. You feel me? Yeah. Like shit. We all feel, because I know I do, I feel one way at one minute in the next day. I'm like, shit, I said that. Well, like, yeah, I mean, that just, that's just human being, bro. We all do that. You feel me? But for the so, most part, I feel like, you know, like, let's say you got, you know, with the kids and shit, bro, like, no matter what with me, I don't give a fuck if I'm struggling. Like, hey, I want to make sure everything's cool and shit. But if I got my kids and they're happy and healthy, bro, like, at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Other shit really don't matter too much. Yeah. You know? I, I think I think as an adult, you should your your kids should never even know what struggle is or even see the pain that struggle are feeling. You feel me? Like especially if you feel I understand it. hell yeah, especially if you felt it. You, you really feel me? It. Like you you owe it to them to work graveyard shifts and slave and do every fucking thing you gotta do to make sure they never feel that. You feel For me? Sure. Like that's your job, nigga, and, and, yeah. and woman. You feel me? That's what you that's what you owe it to your kids that didn't want to be here. They didn't ask to be here, I should say. You feel mm -hmm. me? They never asked yeah. to be here. So you you owe, you know what I'm saying? We be worried about the wrong shit. I mean, but you yeah. know, we all do it sometimes. Yeah, that's real. That's just human. You know, we able to make mistakes and shit though. You, I think and, and you know what I'm saying, I think it's I don't think it's how you start the game, it's how you finish it, though. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? You, whatever happens, you always got a chance to change, though. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, really man, man. Until, until it's too late. Until it's too late, you feel me? So Anything you already did don't matter no more to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could do some yeah. shit yesterday. That's cool what you do today. You feel me? What you doing right what now? What you do today? What you, what you do today? That's everything, no. Niggas always say what well, the difference a day makes, and that's just real as fuck. Mm -hmm. That's real. Nigga can yeah, be that's up just like, just like uh, a nigga who ain't got nothing to do with the game, a white motherfucking stocks or whoever, you feel me? One minute could be a billionaire and some shit go bad. The next minute, the next day, that man don't have nothing. Like, that's real life. Like, the next day, 24 hours. Hell yeah. That's, that's, life. that's life. That's just chicken like one day, day feathers the next. Hell yeah, you're chicken one day. We can't even say 24, because how many people we know that just left us 10, 15 minutes, three minutes, and bam, niggas be gone though that fast, you feel me? Like, sometimes you know I want sometimes I wondered it. I sometimes I wonder though, if we never had time or knew what time was, would it be the same way? You feel me? Because once you know time and once they put time in your head, the, the countdown starts. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, I got to. It already puts you automatically on a fucking work schedule almost. You feel me? So just imagine if nobody never told you your birthday and you just was born and this is Nigga, it. You feel me? Living, the sun huh? go up, yeah. the sun go down. Because I know, I know motherfuckers, me? I know motherfuckers my age that look like they're 55, 60 years old right now, you know, and they, they that's how they live it. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. you're right, bro. Each his own. Drugs. Drugs. Drugs, 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 drugs do it to you every time, man. Alcohol, you drugs, drugs, alcohol, drugs, alcohol, drugs, just bad living. Period. You know what I mean? Like, 
Sure. Sometimes take some time for yourself, man. You feel me? Sometimes we get trapped and we realize we forget about ourselves. So take some time for yourself and keep that shit together, man. You know what I mean? Gotta get it. I know I'd be. Yeah, I know I'd be. But get that shit together, man. You feel me? You owe it to your people and you owe it to your mom and your dad and your family to be the best version of you that you can possibly be. If you that's possible. You, you know can't take saying? care of nobody else if you can't take care of yourself, man. Hell yeah. Not at all. Can't worry you know about nobody else if you ain't worried about yourself. Not at all. You feel you me? Be, you feel me? You're tripping. <laughs> Did we cover all the, 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 the topics? All of them, yeah. We just going, we just going oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 man. But yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, cause you know we just get to chopping it. This is everyday shit. What are we doing? This shit's still recording though. I thought it was finna stop, but I was just seeing how long it was finna go. So yeah, we still, yeah, we still. Yeah, this, my, this motherfucker moving, man. This is this is a uh, this is a what they call this. This is a therapeutic. You feel me? You know what I mean, it's real therapeutic to the users. Hell yeah! Just make sure that y'all listen, cause this adult school. You feel, you feel me? me? I said, yeah, yeah man. And on that note, we out. Bro.